Hello, this is David, but I'm from Excel Consulting, and in this video I'm going to show you how to put an end to ever having to write a nested if function, something like this. So this is testing. If movies is more than five, then it should say a star. Otherwise, if that's not the case, then test when they first, they first appeared. If they first appeared after 2016, then say the word recent. And if none of those are true, then say if the last three characters here say man, M-A-N, give me the return cool suit. And lastly, if that's not the case, then just give me the name of the hero. So you end up with this really complicated nested formula that we all wish we didn't have to write. In, in Excel 2019, you can get around that. What's this? Select your data, go to data, then choose in this thing from table or range. You might say from table depending what version you have. This opens up a brand new window called Power Query that I'm not going to go into in this video but I'm going to show you just the one step which is to go to the add column and choose conditional column. Look how easy this is. You have this pop-up that appears here and you can write your parameters. So I'm going to say output Power Query if movies is greater than, type in 5, then say star, like that. Add rule. How cool, how cool is this? How easy is it? If, uh, what do we have next? So I'm going to do it the other way around. I'm going to do franchise ends with. Uh, the word man, then say cool suits, add rule, if first appeared is after or equal to, I have this cool date picker here, uh, 2016, January 1st, then say recent, and in all of these, I can choose the drop down. If I don't want the value, I can choose a column or another thing called a parameter, which is more advanced. But here in else, if none of those are true, I can choose then the name of the hero, like this. Change the name. By the way, this is case sensitive. So if this was a man with a capital M, I would need to put a capital there. Which you don't have to do with this. There we go. And then we have all of the answers. There's one tiny difference though. It's given me Spider-Man differently here. The reason is because um, of the order of things. In the if function on Excel, I said first test the date and then say recent. But in the Power Query one, I asked it to first test the franchise to see whether it says man and give me this. Um, and if that fails, then go to the date test. So the ordering does matter. However, in Power Query, it's super easy to go back and change by just clicking on this cog in the added conditional column that I just introduced. And then here, I have these lines here. So I just need to, for this one, move it up like that. Then I can press OK, and we'll see if it gives me the same. Yep, it's giving me the same one there. You can do a lot more with Power Query, but as I said, I'm not going to go into it. I'm just going to load it to my worksheet. Uh, click Home tab, close and load two. In some versions, close and load is enough, but I'm going to say I want to see it in a table in the existing worksheet right next to my input so we can see it side by side like that. You'll get this that pops up. You can exit it. This is to do with Power Query, and it's like that. Now, what happens if we add new data? So if we add new data here, um, this is now a special thing called a table. And um, this is now an output of my view. It's not in the same place. It's an output of my view. This is a query that's also in a table. So let's say I want to add, for example, Thor, who was in the franchise called Thor, has been in seven movies, I think. And uh, first appeared in 2009 or 2010. I'm guessing this. This is not 
completely right data. So he's a star for sure. So this hasn't appeared over here. And what I need to do is I need to go to uh, data and then refresh all. And now it will come up here. So it goes through all those same transformations and the same conditional column that I'd applied as well. So that's how you do it and that's how you refresh it. Um, it's using the Power Query tool, which I have more videos on that you can refer to. But yeah, that's how to add a conditional column on Power Query. Thanks for watching.